A ruling by the National Assembly tomorrow will determine if Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero will be allowed to continue holding public office. Speaker Justin Muturi will rule on proposed amendments seeking to censure Kidero. Kidero is alleged to have allowed fraudulent transactions when he served as Mumias Sugar Company's managing director. The report on the crisis facing the sugar industry in Kenya was tabled in the National Assembly in March last year. On Tuesday, Chairperson of the Departmental Committee on Agriculture, Adan Mohamed, moved a motion for the House to debate and adopt the report. However, Speaker Justin Muturi directed that amendments to the report would be done on Wednesday. But when Mumias East lawmaker Benjamin Washiali stood to move his proposed amendments, he encountered stiff resistance from a section of opposition lawmakers. Washiali once Nairobi Governor Dr. Ivan Skidero held personally responsible for loss of export tax revenue during the period he served as managing director of Mumias Sugar Company and be barred from holding public office. But Washiali may as well have opened a Pandora's box. Dr. Ivan Skidero takes the full responsibility and be barred from holding public office since the fraudulent transaction took place during his tenure as the chief executive officer. I want to table before you a document that shows that Benjamin Washelli himself was a trader with Mumia Shoma. The speaker, it shows money transfers to his personal account in account owned in a, in a camp from a company owned by his own former personal assistant. On a, on a company mentioned ban uh, ban he would, uh, something. Would you wish to comment on this? I I don't know. I, I have I don't I have no idea who, who owns that company, Mr. Speaker. No no no, Honorable Shelly, you have all, you have no idea what this company is. I have no idea at all at all, Mr. Speaker. Not not in any way not in any way connected with it. No, not in any way connected to me, Mr. Speaker. Washiali is a member of the Agriculture Committee and did not sign the final report. Some lawmakers argue the best approach for Washiali to prosecute his case would have been through tabling a minority report. Now that there are so many candidates competing for Nairobi Gambanano seat, we can read politics in this. So this may be something cooked and afterthought to try to block Dr. Evans Kidero from contesting. Yes, Kidero is an exporter. There is an importer who are, who are supposed to, to take that sugar to their countries where it belongs to. There are people who are supposed to observe those sugars have crossed, which is KRA, police, and the sugar board. So there are a lot of parties who are involved in these things. That is why we left for the investigating arms to do the investigation and bring to books the culprit, culprits. So this sugar has become sour. And this report, this report has been lying with this House and the House Business Committee for over eight months. Coming in, disappearing, coming in, disappearing. Washali's proposal to fix Kidero saw lawmakers spent an hour arguing whether they could be allowed under the relevant standing orders. If we don't, if we don't listen to one another, yeah, but let's, we will not be able to even follow the argument. The speaker. Because the, the, the committee has a recommendation which charges on management, and I think that's what the Honorable Duali has said. Yes. The management, yes. the board, yes. officers of Kenya Revenue Authority. Yes. Now, that is the recommendation that the Honorable Washiali is replacing, isn't it? Yes. Should the Speaker allow the amendments, then Washiali will seek a member to support the proposals before members exercise their voting rights on whether Kidero will take full responsibility. But if the Speaker rejects the amendments and members adopt the report, then Kidero will not take personal responsibility. But if the Speaker rejects the amendments and members adopt the report, then Kidero will not take personal responsibility, but the entire Board of Management and managers who served between 2003 and 2012. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.